Okay, let's open up Bikers Project inside our working folder in the Biking Project folder. When we last left our intrepid designers, he, meaning me, had just dropped a video of a girl riding on a bike on top of another video, and now you can't see this video. What we want to do is make a kind of like a picture a pip, picture in a picture. But since we're talking about effects, you've got a lot of these. You actually have over 100 different ways that you can click and drag an effect to get a picture inside of a picture. And that way, she gets smaller, she goes to a corner, we can see the other part, everybody's happy. So let's do this. Let's go into our effects right here and go into presets, not my, but presets. There are so many things inside of here that we can use. Drop shadows, all kinds of things. But when we finally get to here, pips, pictures and pictures, look at all these things. There are over 100 different ways that we can do this. All kinds of crazy different ways that we can put that thing in there. So I'll tell you what. Let's start up here. And how about... Well, let's see what this one does. That's a spinner. Now, this is the one we're putting it on right here. Drag it down. Now, I would suggest, since it's got to spin that video on top of another video, that the best thing to do here so it doesn't look jerky is to render it. Now, this might take a bit, so I might have to cut through it. But it's going to have to render it. It's making a smaller video of it. Make it easier to do it. I'll go ahead and cut here. We'll come back when it's done. Okay, let me stop it there and let's put it right about here and see what happens. Eh, I can live with that. Now, if we go up to Applied Effects, you might ask yourself the question, let me select it here, as to where it is. Well, a picture inside of a picture is not actually technically one of those effects, but it's motion. It's here. If I click right here, there it is, scaled to 25%. And here's our rotation right here. Now, if we want to see what it did, we can come over here and click the little stopwatch, and there are the keyframes that it used to get it down to 25% and then spin it down here. I'll tell you what, it goes all the way to the end. Just like that. Let's, well, I'll tell you what, let's do this. Let's get out of here for a second to give us some room. Let's go back to our project assets. And I think this is the last one on six. Let me see what this one does. No, that's the one we already used, isn't it? Actually, it's this one right here, I'm pretty sure. It's kind of where they're, yeah, they're riding off into the sunset, so to speak. And let's go ahead and tag that one right on the end of this one. Now, in this case, let's go ahead and come to this one. I'm going to move that to the end. You can see what it's doing. We need to kind of get rid of this dead time in here. So let's select it and crop in till we see them. Right there. Okay. We can move this out of the way. I like the way it's going, but I want to do one more thing with a keyframe. If we come back to this one, that stays there the whole time. And I guess that's okay. But I think what I want to do here for a little bit more of a dramatic effect, and it will help me reintroduce keyframes to you, is make her fade away or maybe actually get smaller and just kind of wink out of existence toward the end of this video right here. Okay, so we got it selected. Let's go into Applied Effects. Go into Motion. Let me stretch that out a little bit so we can see this better. Well, here it is. There's Positioning. And there's scaling. Scaling is locked in at 25%. So let's go ahead and turn that back on like that. So now we have a keyframe right here. And that keyframe is keeping this at 25%. We're going to take it down a little bit further to about there. 
Now go ahead and add a keyframe on scaling right here. Now with that one selected, take the scaling down to nothing, zero. If we come back here, and there you go. Well, let's do this. Let's go ahead and close that out. And we'll try this without rendering. It might look a little bit shaky, but let's see what we got. Watch it right here. And winks out. Okay. Now let's make a couple of checks here. I'm going to go back and open up Applied Effects. And on this clip, we have Shadow Highlight. On this one, we did the Shadow Highlight. On this one, we don't have shadow highlight, but we do on this one, I believe. No, we don't on that one either. Let's go ahead and put that on there. Again, we can always take it off if we don't like it. And let's do, actually, we'll do these two also. Okay. Everything's pretty much equalized. Let's go ahead and save it. We have one more really important thing to do to kind of pull it all together. And we'll pick that up in the next lesson.